Chosen ones, this message reaches you now because it must. The hour of warning has passed. The era of consequence is upon us. Those who dared oppose you, the anointed, disregarded the unmistakable signs from God. A call to retreat, a plea for humility. You saw it, felt it in your spirit, as the divine caution reverberated. Their defiance seals their fate, but your vigilance confirms your calling. But now, you must decide. Will you rise to the fullness of your purpose? Or will you falter, allowing fear, doubt, or complacency to steal what is rightfully yours? You have witnessed it. Signs etched not in subtlety, but in stark clarity, blazing across the paths of those who dared to stand against the Chosen. Warnings thundered, undeniable in their precision, shaking the very ground beneath their steps. They moved forward, unyielding, as if their plans could outpace the divine timeline. Each ignored warning became a stone added to their burden, each act of defiance a nail hammered into their fate. They built their fortresses of defiance brick by brick, convinced of their invincibility, as if the heavens themselves could be swayed by their arrogance. Their hearts, hardened like scorched earth, rejected the seeds of repentance that could have spared them from this path of ruin. Their pride has not only silenced their ears, but has darkened their vision. They view themselves as untouchable, their minds spinning illusions of control even as the ground crumbles beneath their feet. Every warning they dismissed now circles back as judgment, turning their confidence into chains of their own making. Their attempts to outwit or overpower divine authority were not mere rebellion. They were a proclamation of superiority, a challenge hurled at forces beyond their comprehension. This is not simply an error in judgment. It is a declaration of war against the sacred, an open denial of the Chosen's place in the divine plan. They sought to steal what was never theirs to claim, to rewrite a destiny that was sealed long before their prideful ambitions ever took shape. In their blindness, they believed themselves gods of their own stories, architects of their own triumphs. Their actions were not simple mistakes, but calculated offenses, an outright assault on what was ordained. They twisted their power, sharpened their words into daggers, and hurled their intentions like stones into the sacred waters. But those ripples have surged back as tidal waves, drowning their ambitions and leaving them gasping for air. What they aim to destroy has not only survived but stands stronger, and in their failure, they have become captives of their own schemes. Divine justice is not slow, nor is it blind. It watches with perfect clarity, measuring each act, weighing each intention. Just as Pharaoh's defiance in ancient times brought plagues to his land, their rebellion has summoned calamities of their own making. The defiance that turned rivers into blood and darkened skies with swarms is echoed today, in the lives of those who sought to defy the Chosen. Their arrogance mirrors the hardened hearts of those who came before, and like those ancient warnings, their refusal to yield seals their fate. Drop a comment below saying, Divine justice is my shield. If you've seen the undeniable power of God working on your behalf, and now today the same forces are at work, they aim to crush you, the Chosen, as if their schemes could overturn what has been decreed. Yet every curse they hurl has become their chain, every lie their burden, every betrayal a knife turned inward. Their downfall is not a random occurrence but a direct consequence of stepping over boundaries that were never theirs to cross. They lit fires meant to consume you, only to find themselves surrounded by flames. Their suffering is not vengeance, it is balance. The scales of justice, tipped by their hands, have swung back with the force of divine truth. The laws that govern the universe are clear. One reaps what they sow. In trying to unravel your purpose, they unraveled their own. The path they walk now is strewn with the ruins of their own pride, the echoes of their defiance reverberating in the chambers of their downfall. This is the power of divine justice, unyielding and unchanging. The chosen rise not because of their might, but because of the will that protects them and those who dare to overstep these boundaries will always face the same truth. No one can defy the divine and escape the harvest of their own deeds. You have witnessed their downfall, a collapse that shakes the ground like the fall of a great mountain. Their fall is not simply about their actions, 
but the consequence of waging war against the Eternal. They wielded lies like arrows, sharpened deceit into weapons, and sought to dismantle the very foundations of what God has built. But they struck against an immovable force, and now the backlash of their defiance has crushed them under its weight. The skies seemed to darken for them, as if the heavens themselves mourned their foolishness. Their pride, once a tower reaching into the clouds has become rubble, buried in the ashes of their rebellion. This is not merely an isolated event. It is a lesson for the ages. Those who see it unfold must understand. Divine plans cannot be disrupted, and divine protection cannot be pierced. Their fall is a monument to the unshakable truth that no one can stand against God and prevail. Each piece of their ruin whispers a warning, a reminder to all who would dare to interfere with the chosen. It speaks not of wrath but of consequence, a justice so precise that it engraves itself on the hearts of witnesses. This is more than vindication. This is the evidence of your calling, the proof that God moves in ways often unseen but always undeniable. Even in the silence, he was working for you. While they conspired in darkness, the light of divine intervention was preparing their undoing. The barriers that held you were never built to last. They were merely obstacles to showcase the magnitude of God's ability to deliver you. And now, God has led you to this video for a reason. This is your moment to step into the fullness of your purpose, to connect with a community that understands your journey. Inside Obsidian Inner Order, powered by Astral Atom, over 400 Chosen Ones have seen divine justice at work, turning setbacks into setups for their rise. Inside, we unlock the secrets of modern manifestation mechanics and share uncensored revelations too powerful for mainstream platforms. Through the Star Chamber Discord server, you'll find support, wisdom, and connection with others who are walking this divine path. If you feel God's hand guiding you now, don't hesitate. Obsidian Inner Order is your next step. The link to join us on Patreon is in the description. Let their defeat strengthen your faith, for it is a call to remain steadfast. Your closeness to God is the shield that protected you, the fortress that cannot be breached. Each prayer you whispered was a stone added to that fortress, each moment of faith a reinforcement against their attacks. When you doubted, he remained steadfast. When you grew weary, he carried you forward. And now, as their plans collapse around them, you see the fruits of that trust. Do not grow complacent, for this is not the end of your journey but a turning point. Draw nearer to God, for his presence is your greatest assurance. Even when you cannot trace his hand, know that it is there, orchestrating the details of your triumph. Your faith is not just your anchor, it is the very foundation upon which your future is being built. You are targeted because you are chosen. Darkness does not concern itself with the unremarkable. It seeks to extinguish the extraordinary. Those forces align themselves against you, not because you are weak, but because you are strong. They know your potential, your calling, and they fear it. They twist circumstances, send voices of doubt, and create storms meant to disorient and discourage you. These attacks are not a reflection of your failures, but a recognition of your importance in the greater plan. This war is not fought with swords or shields, but in the unseen realms, where truth is both the weapon and the shield. It is a battle waged in whispers, in temptations, in the quiet moments where fear threatens to speak louder than faith. The chosen are bombarded with false narratives, whispers that they are not enough, that they are abandoned that their struggles are evidence of their insignificance. These are lies, tailored to each wound, aimed to make you question the very essence of who you are. But you are not alone on this battlefield. The same forces that oppose you tremble at the power that protects you. You are surrounded by a divine presence that shields and sustains, even when the conflict feels overwhelming. Each trial you face is not a sign of abandonment, but a testament to your resilience proof that you have been equipped to withstand the onslaught. What they intended to break you becomes the forge that strengthens you. Stand firm, chosen ones, for the battle is not against you alone. It is against the purpose you carry, the light you bear, the truth you embody. The darkness seeks to make you forget this, to make you abandon your calling. 
but their efforts are futile against the power that holds you. This battlefield may rage around you, but within you lies the victory already secured. You are not merely fighting, you are fulfilling. Every challenge faced and overcome is another step in the divine plan that no force can disrupt. Your struggles have not been wasted. They have taught you endurance, carving out resilience from the very fabric of your being. When the storms raged and the waves threatened to consume you, it was not your strength that kept you afloat, it was the unseen hands beneath the surface lifting you higher. The adversities you faced were not sent to destroy you but to refine you, like gold in a furnace, removing impurities and revealing the brilliance within. Consider the countless testimonies of those who walked this path before you. Their pain became the foundation of their purpose, their trials the evidence of their triumph. Those who have emerged from the darkest valleys carry with them the undeniable glow of divine transformation. They speak not of defeat, but of renewal, of how the crushing weight of hardship turned into the wings of victory. Their stories are not mere anecdotes, but echoes of a universal truth. Weakness is not the absence of power. It is the invitation for God's power to take center stage. The challenges you face are not indicators of failure, but signs of your importance. The resistance against you exists because of the magnitude of your calling. The enemy does not attack what is irrelevant. It targets what threatens to shift the balance. Every obstacle, every heartbreak, every loss is a stepping stone designed to bring you closer to your purpose. In your struggle, you are being shaped into a vessel capable of carrying the weight of divine glory. You are not merely surviving, you are being prepared. Each scar is a mark of divine craftsmanship, each tear a reminder of his unwavering presence. Weakness is not your defeat, it is your greatest asset, for it allows the fullness of divine strength to manifest in you. Stand firm, chosen ones, for your challenges are not in vain. They are the groundwork for a strength that will shake the foundations of the earth, a resilience that declares to the heavens that you are unbreakable because He is within you. You stand as the living proof of God's fierce protection, and those who dare to harm you have awakened a wrath they cannot escape. God's justice is not a whisper, it is a storm that roars with unrelenting power, sweeping away the plans of the wicked and crushing those who challenge His chosen. He does not sit idly by while harm is done to those he has anointed. Instead, he rises like a consuming fire, unyielding and unstoppable, to defend what is sacred. Those who lifted their hands against you, who spoke lies and wove schemes in the darkness, believed they could act without consequence. Their arrogance led them to cross the sacred line, defying not just you, but the authority that chose you. Each action of harm, each calculated betrayal, each word of venom was a hammer strike against the gates of divine justice. And now those gates have been thrown open. What they unleashed is now bearing down upon them, relentless and final. God's wrath is not a mere reaction. It is the manifestation of his unwavering justice. It is the force that upholds the truth, the flame that purges deceit, and the weight that crushes rebellion. His defense of his chosen is active, fierce, and absolute. He sees every injustice, every hidden attack, every attempt to undermine his plans, and he responds with precision. Those who thought they could escape his notice or manipulate his will now stand exposed, their deeds laid bare before the unblinking eyes of eternity. There is no mercy left for those who have crossed this line. Their persistence in harming the chosen has sealed their fate, and the window for redemption has closed. Mercy was offered, but they spat on it. Warnings were given, but they laughed. Now they stand on the edge of a chasm, and the ground beneath them is crumbling. The consequences they believe they could avoid are now their shadow, consuming everything they built in their rebellion. The intensity of God's justice is not limited to a moment. It is eternal. Those who harm the chosen find their plans undone, their lives unraveling in ways they cannot comprehend, their paths once paved with arrogance, now collapse into pits of their own making. Every lie they spoke now echoes against them. Every action of harm boomerangs back with divine force. You no longer need to defend yourselves, for God's justice is your shield. 
His wrath is not a distant storm. It is here, dismantling the works of those who dare to stand against His will. The same hands that formed the heavens now move in defense of you, striking down the proud and lifting up the faithful. Their harm against you was their declaration of war against the divine, and no war against God ends in victory for the rebel. You are surrounded by a protection so absolute it defies comprehension. This is not a fragile shield that cracks under pressure. It is a fortress built from the very essence of divine power, unbreakable and eternal. Every step you take is guarded, every move you make is covered. Though the storms rage and enemies press in from every side, they cannot reach you. Their arrows shatter before they touch your skin. Their schemes collapse into dust beneath the weight of God's sustaining favor. God's protection over you is not passive or distant. It is alive, active, and fierce, like a wall of fire that consumes anything daring to breach it. Those who sought to harm you, to derail your purpose, have already met their defeat, not because of your strength, but because of the strength that fights for you. You walk under the shadow of divine wings, where no weapon, no force, no plan of the enemy can prosper. When the world rises against you, the power that sustains you rises higher, casting down every threat that dares to approach. Even in the fiercest trials, when the pressure seems unbearable, you are held. God's sustaining favor doesn't remove the challenges but transforms them. What was meant to destroy you becomes the very catalyst for your growth, the proof of His hand upon you. Like a tree that bends under the wind but does not break, you are rooted in the eternal, unshakable strength of God's purpose. Your enemies may plot in darkness, but their efforts are futile. Every step they take only leads them further into their own defeat. Move forward without hesitation, for your path is secure. It is not merely your own resolve that carries you, but the unwavering promise of God's faithfulness. The plan set against you cannot prevail, because they are no match for the plan set for you. You are not walking aimlessly or struggling to find your way. Your purpose was established before the foundation of the world, and no force, no opposition can uproot it. What God has set in motion cannot be stopped. You can step boldly into the future because His favor sustains you. Every obstacle is an opportunity, every trial a testament to your resilience under His care. You are not here by chance. You are here because you are chosen, called, and equipped. The doubts that whisper against you, the fears that try to grip you, have no power when you walk in the assurance of who holds you. Rest in the knowledge that your path is protected, your calling is secure, and your purpose is unstoppable. You are not moving through life alone or unguarded. You are surrounded by a divine presence so powerful that even the greatest forces of opposition scatter at its command. Move forward with peace, with strength, and with absolute confidence. The favor that sustains you is eternal, and the God who called you will see His plans for you fulfilled. You have been warned, adversaries. The hand of divine justice has been extended to you repeatedly, not with malice but with mercy. Yet, your refusal to heed it has sealed your fate. Each sign, each warning was a moment of grace, a chance to turn away from the path of destruction. Instead, you clung to your arrogance, dismissing the voice of truth and mocking the sanctity of what you could never understand. Now, the tide has turned and the consequences of your defiance rise like an unstoppable flood. There is no refuge from what comes next. You have exhausted mercy and now justice reigns. The plans you so carefully wove have become snares around your feet, and every step forward leads you deeper into the pit you dug with your own hands. Divine judgment does not falter or delay. It strikes with precision, ensuring that every act of rebellion meets its rightful end. To you, the chosen ones, rest in peace and assurance, for your protection is unshakable. The storms that raged against you were never meant to consume you but to refine you. Each trial, each obstacle, was allowed to show the strength of the one who called you. Your enemy's schemes have collapsed under the weight of divine intervention, their weapons dulled and their ambitions thwarted. Every attempt to harm you has only served to strengthen the walls of your protection. You are surrounded by a power so immense that no force, 
No darkness, no adversary can penetrate it. The path you walk is not random. It is deliberate, paved with purpose, and guarded by divine intention. The plans of the wicked crumble before you, and you are called to move forward with peace, knowing that no harm can touch you when you are under the care of the Almighty. This is your moment to step boldly into your purpose. Your journey is not one of survival but of victory, a testament to the sustaining power of God. The trials that once seemed insurmountable have been turned into milestones of triumph. The scars you carry are not marks of defeat but symbols of resilience, reminders that you have been upheld by a force greater than anything that opposes you. You are not merely chosen, you are empowered, equipped to walk in your calling with confidence and strength. Now chosen ones, it is time to let your voices rise. Share your stories of resilience, of triumph through adversity, of faith that withstood the fiercest of trials. Speak of the moments when hope seemed lost, only to see divine intervention shatter the darkness. Your experiences are not meant to remain hidden. They are a beacon for others who walk paths of doubt, fear, and uncertainty. By sharing your testimony, you build a community of strength, a chorus of voices proclaiming the unyielding power of divine favor. Engage with this message not in silence but in action. Let your words inspire, your stories unify, and your faith ignite a movement of purpose and truth. Together you are more than individuals. You are a collective force of light, bound by divine intention and driven by the call to stand firm in the face of opposition. This is your time to shine, to stand tall, and to speak boldly of the God who fights for you, protects you, and carries you forward into a future no enemy can destroy.